And the sides do come out at last here at Arbour Park. It's uh, Slough Town versus Hampton and Richmond Borough on uh, Boxing Day today. Uh, welcome to all our viewers from the National League TV service. Uh, we hope you are looking forward to watching what should be a very, very interesting game between two very informed sides. Uh, we just alluded to it briefly before. Uh, Slough are beaten in 12 at home with Hampton and Richmond unbeaten in 15 in all competitions. Uh, so I'll head straight to the lineups then this afternoon uh, for the Rebels Slough Town. Uh, in goal is Dan Lincoln. Uh, captaining the side today is Joe Dandy, uh, Dan Bayliss, Jamal Prosper, Matt Lynch, Nathan Minas, Scott Davis, Temia Wecker, Manash Sundiri, Mikhail Platt and David Ogbonna. There's just two changes to the starting 11 from the side that defeated Averley uh, away on Saturday. And on the bench for the Rebels is Gary Abasogan, Slabby Sparzoff, Alfie Tucker, Ollie Spicer and Ryan North. Uh, definitely not. It's whipped in with a, a little bit of venom there from... Deadfield trying to catch out Dan Lincoln, who was just shifted slightly over to his right hand side post. Some good work there from Slough. It's Ogbonna who's got round his man. Plays it back across to Platt, who strikes towards goal. He was off balance though. But it's followed up by Sadiri and it's deflected in. Slough take the lead at Arbor Park. The Rebels behind that goal are bouncing. And on the 17th minute mark, Manash Sundiri has scored for Slough. Corner comes in, it's towards the near post and must have been a little bit of miscommunication or just a, an under hit ball from Matt Lynch there because there wasn't any Slough players waiting at the near post. Lynch though finds Joe Dandy there. There's a great pass back out to Lynch. Fires it back in again, no Slough shirts there. Bayliss winning the first header, comes back out the box and Bayliss again winning his header. And Hunt under pressure from his own man there. Misheaders the ball and falls to Bonner again. He gets the ball back across. It's bouncing everywhere and Platt strikes towards goal. It doesn't matter because he's been headed in anyway. I think he hit the crossbar and the post there from Platt strike. Huh? Now being told it's Nathan Minas who's claiming the goal in the end. Just feel a, a slight bit of nervousness around the ground now. Corner's taken short. It's not a good corner in the end as it deflects cannons off of Prosper. And that pass across was almost too short. And now a long ball forward from Aweka as Du Bois is retreating. It's fallen to Minas. Can he strike towards goal? It's a scuffed effort in the end. And that was a massive, massive opportunity to make it three for Slough. Dandy there eventually picking up the loose ball. Nathan Minas is quite clearly having his shirt completely ripped off his back there. And somehow he's actually ended up managing to turn Ben Seymour. Ben Seymour, sorry. Uh, Sam Dreyer. Sam Dreyer, that's it. That's the one. That's a fantastic strike towards goal from Bonner. The move is kept alive and it's headed over the bar in the end by Mikel Platt. But that was a fantastic save, though, from Adam Du Bois. Lynch now has a chance to fire this one into the middle it's lifted up towards the back and then a full on the volley strike there from Obama's deflected, it's picked up again by Sundiri, pushed all the way back to Davis gives it back to Sundiri Sundiri's the one that's going to try and play a ball in, it's headed by Prosper it's Hampton now just moving the ball across, nice ball in in there to the feet of Deadfield out to Donaldson on the left Moving across the runner, Seymour, great sliding challenge there from Bayliss to stop that shot there from uh, Hampton's danger man. Just couldn't resist as uh, Hampton bring that ball back into play. Wishart with a bit of space now down this left-hand side. Plays that ball in. Dan Fawozi finds himself a bit of space, fakes to shoot. <laughs> Leaves down. That's great. Fires into the back of the net to pull one back for the, uh, for the away side with a lovely finish from the inside of the right foot. Yeah, it was some fine work there, wasn't it, by Josh Anafawasi. He committed the defender and managed to somehow get his ball across in the end. And it's a fine strike into the back of the slough net. Playing that bit longer, just trying to expect the uh, the strikers to create something more so so towards Ogbonna with the pace and trickery that he has. He brings the ball forwards now, just progressing across the halfway line. As far as I've in support, just can't quite get his run right as Ogbonna still travels down the right side. Fires a low shot in at the boys with a good save there. It is near post. 
chews up a few seconds for Slough. You could say a bit of gamesmanship as Lynch prepares to take the corner on, on the right. Delivers in towards the middle to the head of Aweka and at De Bois just to uh, make a routine save. Not quite reading these bounces at the moment, Hampton and Richmond. There's a couple now they've been caught out on. Long ball forward from Aweka again. Bit of a fight there between Lynch and Anafawasi for possession of the ball. It's gone the away side's way. It's a great ball down the left hand side for Ben Seymour to latch on to. Just holding the ball up for support. It's found Anna Fawasu again. It's going to strike towards goal there. It almost catches Lincoln out as extra attacking player for Hampton, as you say, Connor. So Wishart now. Another great pass infield. It finds Donaldson. He's going to strike towards goal. It's pushed out away by Lincoln and he's missed the fly of the ball there and it's Nathan Minas running in on goal and nothing but the goal and he's put it over the bar. Bonner's certainly sitting a lot deeper now mm. and it doesn't give Slough many options but that is a good ball forward from Bayliss down the left channel to Minas under pressure from Revan again whose uh, recovery pace does bring him back but Minas is holding the ball up just trying to work a bit of space for himself lays it into the middle to Lynch Little bit of space on the edge of the box onto his left, drives just wide of the left hand post there. Slalo do need to take one of those chances if they come again. Had enough opportunities really to have uh, killed the game off a lot earlier, really. Slalo, I mean, like you said, Minas alone has had two one on ones now, and it's Donaldson again who's going to fire in towards the near post, and it's flicked in by Ben Seymour. It's a great run by him across the keeper. And Hampton and Richmond are level with time to spare and they're going to look now for that winning goal to keep their run alive. Yeah, that's the 13th of the season for him now as well, I believe. Very quickly, Scott Davis picks out David Obon with a great pass. Slough looking to regain their lead again. He's just a bit of a loose bit of footwork there from Obon, but he's managed to keep it alive for Slough. Picked up by Manash Sandiri with some good footwork. And he strikes towards the near post and it's just flashed over Du Bois' bar. Corner's whipped in towards that near post. It's flicked on and it's been bundled into the back of the net. I think it was by uh, Isaac Pitt Blado. And it looks like Hampton and Richmond might have found the winner. A bit of disappointment with Slough giving up a two-goal lead, which we, which we haven't seen for a little while. Still alive, though, as Sparzov tries to exchange passes with Minas, and Minas with a strike towards the near post is wise. They're doing a fairly good job at the moment as it's chested down by Dandy. Again, his ball forward is just a bit tame. And quite a clear handball there is given against Mason Bloomfield. Doing his best to defend for his team, but has given Slough a chance to put one in the box. and. Dan Lincoln was coming forward, but Lynch crossed it in a bit early there. It's going to fall to Abbasogan, and it's a poor header. That's uh, over the bar. And there's still time for Slough to find a goal. Lynch with the throw. Flicked on by Bayliss. It's in the middle. And it's bundled in by Slavi Spardov. Slough have found the equaliser. Uh, just that late pressure there from Slough finally paying off when you thought it wasn't going to. But what an opening goal for Slough. What a timely goal for Slough. This could be the goal that continues Slough's unbeaten home run up to 13 games. And that has got the Slough fans now buzzing behind that goal. But again, that little bit of late pressure that, that hopefully has paid off and, and recovered a draw for Slough. Just a bit randomly, right at the end here, I'm just going to say, Slough with four yellow cards today, none for Hampton or Richmond. Doesn't matter though, because it is a stalemate on the pitch in the end. It's finished. Slough Town three, Hampton and Mitt Richmond three. So last gasp equaliser from the second half substitute, Slavi Sparzov.